Hi guys, welcome to Whiskey Web. Today's episode is going to be all about barley. So I'm standing right here where Sonic the Hedgehog stood in the recent film. Uh, but I thought I'd show you more the kind of whiskey side rather than the movie production side of, of Shelter Point Farm. Interestingly, the farm is here, but the distillery is right over here. So this is part of what makes Shelter Point Farm and Distillery so special. We grow barley right in front of the distillery. Now a lot of you know a lot about casks and all these kind of different aspects of whiskey, uh, but something that's often overlooked is the grain itself. So I thought I'd give you a brief introduction on what happens in a kernel of barley. Can you see that okay? All right, so this is a, a barley kernel, and this bit here, the micro pile, this is the bit that lets in water. So this is where it really begins. Uh, the water comes in, hydrates the barley kernel, and it triggers the alerone layer. So this layer right in here, and there's a hormone called gibberellic acid. And what this does is it starts releasing enzymes which break down the cell walls uh, or trigger the, the starch to start growing the rootlet here. So this whole central section is the endosperm and that's where you've got uh, large and small granules of starch which are going to feed the plant growth. Um, the husk here protects the barley especially during malting and it also serves uh, a good purpose during the mashing process because it acts as a, a filtration bed for recirculation of wort. Um, the husk is insoluble, so that's why it makes a good bed. But what happens is once this growing process starts, the, the barley starts chitting. Now, no jokes about chitting yourself, please. Um, <laughs> but the, the, the chit goes up here, starts growing, and eventually comes out this end here, which is the on. So you get the roots grow out this way, and the top of the plant grows out this way. So if you think of it more like that, this would be the top of the plant, that would be the, the roots going down. Uh, and this here is the cell walls. Uh, so this in, in the endosperm, this is the cell wall matrix. So these are all different cells, and in there you've got large and small starch granules. And this is what we're after because this is, gives us the carbohydrate, which will eventually turn into sugars, which will eventually turn into alcohol. So the easier we can break down these cell walls, which are made of protein and beta glucans, uh, the better we can access that starch for whiskey production. So this field here we planted um, around about the end of April. It takes about three months to grow and fully grow in barley. So we'll be harvesting this field around about the end of July. Uh, so at the moment we have plants that look like this. So this here's the seed. Uh, you get the roots growing out the bottom there through the micropile and up the on. This is the plant growing here. So this is after about two or three weeks of growth. Uh, we've had a good start to the growing season, beautiful sunshine, nice bit of rain as well. So the fields are growing really nicely at the moment. Once we get to the end of July, the plant's going to look more like this. Um, so this is two row barley, where you have kernels sticking out here on both sides. Uh, but there's other varieties as well, which are more like six row barley. This one here, where you have uh, six kernels. Um, oh, and. and the thing is, two rows preferred normally because the, the kernel sizes tend to be a bit larger. Uh, so that's the that's how the barley looks when it's ready to harvest. Goes this beautiful straw, soft colour, kind of waves around in the the wind a little bit. And there's certain characteristics we're after when we're growing barley. So we don't want the barley to be too tall. So we we grow dwarf varieties here at Shelter Point Farm because we have a, a coastal breeze that comes in, and if it was too strong you might get a bit of lodging, which is essentially the barley falling over. Uh, and we don't want that because then the plant dies and you lose your grain. And also, um, you want to uh, think about how, how you're fertilizing the field as well. So there's things like phosphorus, um, nitrogen, which go into the field. 
and you want to be careful with the levels of fertilizer because if you put too much nitrogen in uh, that can cause lodging as well which causes the plant to have a weak stem and fall over whereas if you don't put enough nitrogen in then you're going to have maybe not enough uh, plant development so we're just looking for that perfect amount um, so here we've got a few test plots of barley we're actually trialing different varieties of barley this year so on the farm we have a total of 388 acres about 200 to 250 of those acres will be used for barley production and we're trialing maybe about 10 different varieties of barley for future um, testing just to see what's going to make the best whiskey for Shelter Point Farm. So this is one of the, the great things that we can do here. We can start experimenting and learning right from the first stage of whiskey production which is putting the seed into the ground and when we do that uh, we cultivate the fields we uh, harrow them, we roll them, make them nice and flat and we use a planter which puts the seeds about uh, maybe inch, inch and a half down into the soil and then just after a couple of weeks we've got this lovely like green field emerging which will eventually turn to a golden straw brown. So I hope you enjoyed that brief introduction to barley. Please ask any questions at all uh, in the comments below and I'll try and address any questions that you might have about barley. Uh, and maybe I'll do like more videos in the future uh, that addresses other aspects of grain in whiskey. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, uh, stay well, and we'll see you for the next episode. Thanks.